Hey there, how's it going? I'm Kelly, the Take Action Mom, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Amazon native shopping ads. And what I'm going to do here basically is just give you a quick, really, really quick rundown of what they are and uh, show you how to put them into your WordPress blog. Um, how to get the code and how to put the code into your blog so that the, the ads show up. Uh, the native shopping ads are really cool. They look like this when you put them on your blog. Uh, this is, they, they are, um, what's the word, responsive so that they, they'll adjust to look right no matter where you put them. You can see here in the image they've adjusted to look right in on, a, on mobile. They'll look like this if you put them in your blog post. They'll spread out depending on how you have them set up. Uh, over here you can look, <clears throat> I've got them here in my sidebar and they have stacked so that they fit appropriately into my sidebar. So they're really handy, they look really good, they're great to add to your post because they do add to your content, you know, and give you a, a, another way to, to, you know, connect with your readers by recommending products that are appropriate for them. So let's look at them real quick. There are three different kinds. There's recommendation ads which automatically display relevant product recommendations from Amazon based on your page content and your visiting users. So that's really cool because it gives them exactly what they're looking for on your page or um, what they've been searching for on Google before if they are cookied already for Google. Uh, the next kind are the search ads. Search ads allow your visitors to take advantage of search results from Amazon directly on your website. You can recommend products based on search phrases or keywords that are selected by you or that they can enter. There's, you can see um, right here with this kind, it's got a search bar right there connected to the ad so they can search right on your page and make a, make a purchase right there. Uh, the final kind <coughs> are custom ads which allow you to handpick your favorite products that you want to promote with your post. And this is my favorite kind because my blog posts are pretty tightly focused and I don't want kind of random stuff showing up based on um, some of my keywords. Some of the words that might be in my post might not really have anything to do with the actual topic of the post and sometimes I've had some weird stuff come up. So <clears throat> I want exactly what I want there for my post and you know what's, what's appropriate for my post. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to make one of these, how to, how to set it up, and then how to put it on your blog. So we're going to go right over here where it says create ad unit. Oh, let me show you real quickly. Um, you would start here by signing into your Amazon account and you'll go here to product linking and then right here to native shopping ads and click and it will take you to this page where I am now. Then to create your ad you're going to click on create ad unit and you're going to um, choose the kind that you want to choose. I almost started speaking Spanish there for a second. Uh, choose the kind that you want and I'm going to go with custom ads and it's going to take me right over, oh I gotta sign in again. I've been off the page too long. So here we are and we're gonna go to uh, you need to, you need to have a minimum when you're doing the, the the custom type like this you need to have a minimum of four products chosen in order for the preview to show up in order to be able to use the the code so <clears throat> let's say that uh, I'm writing a post about creating lists or something and I want to put some journals in there that you can use bullet journals so let's go Let's leave it all and let's, you can pick a specific um, category from Google if you want or you can just leave it to all Google and I'm going to type in here bullet, whoops, bullet journal and let's go and then we would just add, I'm just going to, I don't know what these are, I'm just adding them to give an example. And then, boom, as soon as I've got four items, it pops up here with the, thing, with the four items that I picked. And this is what the ad, the ad is going to look like on your blog. 
and then it shows you the code here. You highlight the add code, right click and copy. And now we're going to go over here to my blog post and in order to put this into your blog post you need to come here and click on text. We have to use the text editor anytime that we're entering code. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to paste that code into my blog post and then I'm going to go on preview, come back over here and this is loading here, it's loading up my page. I have very slow internet, I'm sorry about that. And then we'll come down here and it's not there, why isn't it? Oh, there it goes. Just took it a second to render. And there you go, there it is right there. And you can see how this filled up the full width of my blog post. When I put it in the sidebar, it fills up the width of the sidebar as a widget. And it's, it's just so easy to do. I mean, it's really as easy as picking the kind of ad that you want, adding products if you need to, picking up the code and pasting it into your post. I mean, that really is all there is to it. It couldn't be easier. So, um, I hope that helps you out. If you need any more information on these, I am writing a post about it, and I will link to that post in the bottom description of this video. And I'm Kelly, the Tech Action Woman. I'll talk to you later. Bye.